by the end of this video you will get to know the five things you didn't know about e-commerce advertising part two as always we have a bonus for you at the end of the video kindly subscribe if you are new here for more educational videos on e-commerce and business welcome to value addition the average human sees 5,000 ads per day interestingly some of us will actually see even double that number with the competition to grab our attention growing day by day so you know advertising has been in existence for a very long time and it really plays an important role in ensuring that companies big or small physical stores or e-commerce stores are able to maximize profit number one making great advertising content you know it's very important to make great advertising content which you know applies to e-commerce ad advertising as well it's very important that advertisers in general or e-commerce advertisers absolutely nail their content and influence their viewers you know in this day and age and it's even been like that since a long time ago regardless of the product or service you are offering if your advertising you know doesn't appeal to your viewers it's not going to be able to convert it into sales so it's very important that you know advertisers really take their time to perfect their advertising content to ensure that it's going to be of high value to their viewers and potential customers so you will be able to use more than one of these techniques in each of our e-commerce advertising as well as other advertising it's up to you to decide which is best for your product or service you know it's really really important you can you can just put out any form of content as an advert it should follow a certain you know standard and to also ensure that your viewers are really liking what you're putting out there Number two, the use of colors. In every piece of advertising, yeah, you know, we see some sort of color scheme, whether it's a full palette or black and white. You know, these colors have been chosen for a reason because I said in earlier videos that people buy based on emotion. So when the color meets the person's preference, it's very likely for him or her to make that purchase based on the color you know different colors can bring out different feelings in the viewers minds some people prefer loud colors others also prefer mild colors depending so when you're advertising especially in e-commerce you need to pay attention to the color of your advertisement so that you can meet your potential customers and customers needs and emotions so you can convert it into sales red for instance is the color for passion or power while blue is calming and approachable both of these colors have become strong associations with brands a classic example is coca-cola you know coca-cola has been in existence for over 100 years okay before i dive into this technique you might be asking yourself what exactly do i mean by composition simply put composition is the organization of elements within your ad space you know the do's and don'ts you know in ensuring that your ad is going to really come out great so that your viewers you will find value for it you understand what i mean so yeah that's your composition so a well thought out ad will pull a viewer's eyes towards the most important aspect of that particular ad you know whenever you put in out an ad especially in e-commerce advertising you need to ensure that you ask yourself who do i want you know to watch this advertisement if it's an ad for kids there's a way you're supposed to do it if it's an ad for young adults there's a way you're supposed to do it if it's an ad for the older generation that's probably like from 50 years upwards there's a way you are supposed to do it so when coming out with your you know e-commerce ad you need to really pay attention to it and see the details in it to know which you know 
aspects you want people to really pay attention to okay all right the designs in an ad could be an emotional trigger like a brand's logo just like i said early on you know a brand like coca-cola has been in existence for a very long time so any ad even if sometimes it's not a coca-cola advert and it's a different company but probably coca-cola is partnering with them let's say mcdonald's you know usually mcdonald's has been partnering with coca-cola for a very long time so you notice that even in McDonald's adverts, you're going to be seeing a Coca-Cola logo, you know, when it comes to the soft drinks and all of that. So it's very necessary to, you know, ensure that you use elements, you use compositions to, 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 make, your, uh, to make your viewers, your potential customers to pay attention so that it triggers their emotions. You know, as I said in earlier videos, people buy mostly based on emotions. So it's very important that you draw the attention to the details that's going to trigger their emotion that would help them to make the purchase. All right. What do you guys think about the video so far? If you have any question, kindly feel free to ask your questions and I'm going to reply in the comment section. So I'm here to tell you, family, never give up on something you're passionate about or something that, you know, you really care about that you believe you know if you you pay more attention to it and bring you great results sometimes people are going to say all sorts of stuff but trust me never give up on your dreams all right keep pushing no matter what happens you're going to do great i trust you okay keep pushing sometimes you might you might fall along the line but keep your head up pick yourself up and try again try 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 again don't quit easily because winners never quit quitters never win okay a lot of people you've seen that are successful today it's not because they are lucky trust me it's because they put in a lot of hard work and they they intentionally decided not to ever give up on their dreams number four the journey of an art you know with every art you put online or you put on social media you have to have a mindset that the art is a journey, okay? More like you telling a story from beginning to halfway to the end of the story. So the advertisement must be engaging. It must be in a way that it keeps your viewers or your listeners hooked. You know, that there's supposed to be elements in your advertisement that keeps your listeners or your viewers to keep watching or keep listening for a particular period of time okay so if your ad is not like a journey or it's not like you're telling a story people are just gonna take their eyes off it or they're not even gonna they're not gonna pay attention to it so it's very very important to let your viewers or your listeners you know get hooked on your advertisement okay so always have in your mind that your advertisement is a journey narrate your story narrate whichever you know event you believe is going to keep your viewers or your listeners hooked so that they can keep on paying attention to your advertisement all right other than that if you don't do that they're not going to pay attention for long they might not get the needed information because you're putting out your ad for a particular purpose for your product or service so always ensure that your art is like a journey all right your art is like a story all right very very important to keep your audience engaged so that they can pay attention to all the details of your advertisement all right always keep that in mind it's very necessary that you do that number five repetition if you really want to nail your product or service into someone's head, kindly use repetition. Whether it's the same art on different platforms. Repetition, you know, let me give you a classic example. You know when we're in school, sometimes when we're about to go write our exams, you need to like try and memorize things. And in memorization, you have to repeat what you've learned over the course of the semester 
So that means you keep repeating what, you, what you've learned mentally. So anything that's continuously being repeated stays in the mind of the audience. Okay? So in this context, since your e-commerce ad or your e-commerce advert advertisement keeps coming, keeps popping up, you go on social media, you go on Facebook, you go on YouTube, you go on Instagram, you go on Twitter, you go on Snapchat. Any social media you go on, you people get to see your product or service advertisement, right? So the more you are able to repeat your product or service ad, the more chances your, you know, the higher chance your your customers or your audience are going to be seeing it and it's necessary. You know, when you keep repeating it, they, okay, with time, they're going to know, oh, okay, so I remember I saw this, this ad some days back and I've seen it again. Okay, what's it about? Let me pay attention to it. So it's very important that you do that, okay? So always also pay attention to repeating of your e-commerce ad, okay? Be it your product or service. It's very, very important that you do that. And since you stuck around till the end, you're going to have a bonus. Number six, body language. Okay. So sometimes you might have an ad, you might hire actors and stuff like that. They might not say much, but their body language can go a long way to inform your audience or your potential customers as exactly what you want to put out. So body language is also very important, you know, in e-commerce advertising because you know, some people cannot cannot really hear. People with hearing impediments or your animators are able to show a particular body language, you know, that's going to trigger an emotion to ensure that your potential customers buy into your product or service in your e-commerce or regular brick and mortar store. That's going to go a long way. So in whichever ad you are, planning to put out there try and make sure if, if you're going to hire actors or actresses or you're going to you're going to use animation ensure that the body language in the video of the ad you're trying to put out is really on point that your audience can really you know get to understand what you're trying to tell them in the ad to increase sales okay all too soon, we've come to the end of this episode, okay? So, as I keep telling you always, keep a positive spirit, all right? Never look down on yourself. Never allow anybody to look down on you. Sometimes it can get difficult, but trust me, nothing good comes out of giving up, okay? Keep pushing. I trust in you. I believe you. I believe you're going to do great, okay? Keep pushing. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel very soon. So kindly subscribe, like our video, share our video, comment your suggestions, your questions. Let's keep on growing the family, all right? Here are value addition. We believe you are valuable, all right? Keep being yourself. Keep being great. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.